Hi everyone, Janice here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a brief flip through of my Louis Vuitton Koala. And this is a PM size and I'm using it for travel tracking. And last year I shared with you my Midori, this little guy. And I still keep this one at my desk. I use it for my expense report tracking. And I still have my little checklist, which I highly recommend for people who do business travel and have to do expense reports. There's nothing worse than missing a receipt. You don't want to do that. Um, but that's what I'm using this for. And it's great because it's so tiny. You throw it in your bag and it's with you all the time. When you book travel, I always recommend having your confirmation numbers on paper. Even if you use something like TripIt or TripCase or one of those applications on your phone where you can send your confirmations to an email address and it tracks your itinerary, which is great, I do that as well, but I like to have a backup. I also wanted to just share before I open her up that a lot of people on the boards have been saying, oh, should I, you know, um, should I bullet journal or plan in my PM or my MM? And I don't think there's a hard, fast rule. I think part of it also depends on how much you write and how big you write. But I think the MM um, is a little better for more bullet journaling and those kind of things. Whereas this little guy, the PM, it's not a lot of real estate, if you will, writing. Uh, I used to use this as a wallet. It's my Louis Vuitton Epi Green Leather. And I absolutely loved this. Like I actually thought this was my forever wallet, but look what happened. I used it so much that one day the rings just came undone and I just haven't got it fixed yet. So, you know, it's pretty nice as a wallet, except for, you know, finding a place to put cash in. Coin is a little bit tricky. So I think the PM size is really good as a planner. And I'll just open her up. Why are all my planners female? I don't know. <laughs> so first off, uh, I have a little dashboard, just a girl boss building her empire. And I got this from Kaylee's. How cute is this? Thank you for this. I love that it's got this New York City skyline at the bottom. Um, I fly into New York and that area quite a bit. So there's room with the koala. You've got some pockets for your, you know, um, claim checks and your loyalty cards, your airline cards. And, you know, I'm using it for travel. So that's how I use it. You could certainly use this as a wallet. Like I mentioned, I did with my Epi Green leather one. So opening her up, I have a couple pockets and I'm gonna be putting some stickers in there. I am using my Filofax pocket calendar in here. And I originally was using Filofax in my Filofax pocket Finsbury. And this was great as a wallet because it's got the pocket where you can put cash. So I still really like this and I probably will switch out throughout the year but um, I like the Koala for travel, but the Filofax pocket calendar fit beautifully. So let me show you what's in here. You've got, um, you know, we've got my 2016, my 2015, and of course my 2017, which is the week on two pages diary. That's what I'm using in this. And what I have here is just a bunch of stickers and things that are tracking things related to travel for me. So if I had holiday, work holidays, or work at home days, I put them in here. And just for fun, I made some stickers for laundry <laughs> and um, you kind of see, and here we are. So I also made all these stickers using the Silhouette Cameo and I also used Avery labels. If you don't have a Silhouette Cameo, you can use your Avery, this is 5418, and just um, you know download the template from Avery and print whatever you want and then just put some color on them. There's plenty of videos out there that show you how to do that. So this is not gonna be a DIY, but I just wanted to recommend that because frankly, it's so much easier to use Avery than using your Silhouette Cameo. So let's talk about that for a second. So I have a subscription to flaticon.com, which is where I got you know my little hotel card key and my taxi and all my laundry and all these different things which is great. And what I did was I got Avery um, full size labels and I printed using print and cut. But here's what happened. So here's an example of my little suitcase and the trace feature worked, but <laughs> after a couple of tries. So let me just show you, um, you know, this is the example of it not working where it started to cut in between 
the lines here. And I guess what I'm sharing is that, and I put this in another video about print and cut, it's super fun and it's a hobby like anything else. You have to be patient. You know, you might not get it right the first time, but I do feel as good as the print and cut and silhouette technology is, it's not quite science. And what I mean by that is it's finicky. Without, you know, a better way to say it, you have to get the blade setting right, which is the least of your problems. It's really making sure that the system reads the registration marks. And so let me just back up a second. What you do is you, you know, make your layout in the silhouette program. I'm using flat icon, like I said, and then you print it through your normal printer and it prints these, what they call registration marks. And when you put it through your silhouette cutter, the system is supposed to read the marks and align to do the cutting. And again, it's kind of finicky. So sometimes it works beautifully. You know, this is a good easy one where I just did a little bit of box around, you know, a couple of things. Um, you know, this worked out beautifully, but here's an example of where it didn't work at all. And I couldn't get it to work. Like you can kind of see it started cutting in weird places. Um, and I took off the front row to give more room for the registration mark. I just couldn't get it to work. So. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it is fun to make your own until it's not. You know, when it doesn't work, you really want to go back to just buying on Etsy, which is what I still do also to supplement and play with my planners. Um, so here's back to my little koala. You can see how I'm using it. Um, the visuals also help me remember to do my expenses. So I can kind of add up like, oh, I have seven things on here. I hope I have seven lines in my expense report entry. And then in the back, without you know airing too much, there's um, the Filofax little uh, zipper compartments and card holders. I just put there for more um, loyalty cards. And that is my Koala Louis Vuitton travel tracker. Very quick video today. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.